Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting part one of making over my kitchen. This is more of a budget kitchen reno, at least phase one. <laughs> so there is some renter friendly things, but I recognize that not all landlords would allow you guys to maybe make some of these changes. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I'm a mom who loves home decor, thrifting, and a good DIY project. Before we dive into things, if you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyface22. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know if you found any of this helpful and maybe making over your kitchen. I wanna start by sharing with you guys today's sponsor. It is Caraway Home. I have been a long time fan and admirer of Caraway Home, so I am mega excited to be partnering with them today. The first thing we're gonna do is unbox the cookware that they sent over. I'm so excited to finally get a look at these pots and pans. Whoa, oh my gosh. This is a lid holder. We have their Dutch oven, saute pan. These are so nice. Fry pan, saucepan. Right off the bat, I am so impressed with the look and quality of their cookware. They are also a 100% non-toxic ceramic coated cookware. I love that this is a safe alternative to traditional nonstick cookware, just toxin free. It's a smarter, safer cookware option and holds up in quality. One thing I really love about Caraway's cookware is that they come with organizers and it makes it so much easier to store them in your cabinets. I feel like <laughs> pulling out pots and pans, it's always annoying if they're stacked up. And I love that they give you a storage solution. It really helps just transform your cabinet space. And the lid organizer is so functional and easy to use as well. Caraway gave me a discount for you guys. You can get 10% off site-wide using the link down in the description box. So 10% off their whole site. Just use that link. We have had some pretty cheap, <laughs> pots and pans in our day. These pots and pans stay looking so nice. We cooked up some breakfast and got to test out our new cookware and oh my gosh, you guys, not only was cooking an egg so much easier in this pan, but it was also so much easier cleanup without the sticky, messy, like I don't know why eggs sometimes can just really stick on a pan. Using these pans not only cooked our egg beautifully, but made cleanup that much easier. I'm so happy to be adding this set to our home to use and love for a long time to come. I also love knowing that they are 100% non-toxic with their ceramic surface, beautiful cookware. I really can't say enough good things about them. So once again, don't forget to check out the link down in the description box to get 10% off a site wide. Okay. Let's get right back into this kitchen reno. Here is what our kitchen has been looking like. It has white cabinets. It's not bad, but we'd love to make some updates. First thing that I did was buy some new wooden knobs. We just had these silver knobs that are totally fine. I wanted to get these wooden ones so that I could just paint them the same color because we are painting the cabinet. <laughs> so I actually switched them all out and we've had them up for like two weeks. And I did realize now that I need to take them all off for when we paint them. But I did go <laughs> and change out all the knobs and put them on and waste my time doing this. <laughs> Step two is really what's going to transform this kitchen. Now, I saw this girl on Instagram. I've been following this girl for a while, Megan Alexander, and she did this in her kitchen, and I thought, oh my gosh, we need to do this. What we're going to do is add trim to our cabinets, not the drawers. We're gonna leave the drawers as is. I don't think it's necessary that the drawers get trim, but for all the cabinets, we are adding trim pieces. Basically, this is just gonna give them more of a shaker style cabinet look instead of just the flat cupboard, which I think really kind of dates the kitchen. So this is a really affordable way to just instantly update your kitchen. Trim is not that expensive. I think we got all of our trim for under a hundred. And then we also will be using a nail gun or you could use adhesive and clamps, but we are going the nail gun route. Measured all the cabinets, everything, bought the trim. Then first we installed 
all of the top horizontal trim pieces. Then he went back, measured the distance vertically between the two trim pieces and cut those all down to size. Then he simply used his nail gun and we nailed all of these trim pieces on. I have a Huh? Mm. <laughs> we got the trim on. We got the trim on. So now it's time to patch. Now and now I trash. That's right. Next, my husband went and filled all the nail holes and any other imperfections that we needed to fill before painting. I am getting started painting. These have already been painted, so we didn't need to do as much prep work with like sanding and priming and all that stuff because these are already painted older cabinets. We're just using an enamel paint, which is a little bit more pricey, but will really stick on there. Wonder if people will have strong opinions about this. I am also painting all the hardware. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to like get brackets that were hidden, but these cabinets are really old and it was very confusing as to the type of hinge we would need. So I decided I'm just painting all the hinges. I think overall it will actually look better to just have this be blank. The hinges aren't going to stand out. So maybe that's a controversial decision, but I think it's the right decision for us. We just realized we painted our entire cabinets three times the wrong color. Really, we did. So <laughs> that's how many paint cans we have laying around that we painted our cabinets the wrong color. I don't know why we didn't notice sooner. We both just thought it needed an extra coat and then we gave it two more coats this morning and then when we were done, we we're like, why is this peach colored and not grayish colored? Anyways. Stefan took the kids out so I can repaint our cabinets. <laughs> Next, we will be installing all of the painted wood knobs and that finishes up our cabinets. We are just doing the one side of the kitchen right now. The other side actually has this Ikea kitchen unit that's like its own thing, but we do want to do the uppers. But because of time, we are holding off on doing the uppers for now. We're really just kind of focused on the one side of our kitchen. <laughs> Moving on, I am very excited. I have been waiting to do this basically since we moved in. I am going to be using contact paper to refinish our countertop. I have actually never used contact paper in a kitchen before. I've used it one time, like a, a long time ago on a different project. I really don't know if it will hold up in the kitchen to the water that might get on it and everything, but we'll see. Let's go install this contact paper. We have finished our cabinets. We are going to go ahead and install our contact paper. I'm kind of a newbie contact paper person. We have a little card to help apply it. I bought this specific one on Amazon because it was almost the exact size and I didn't want to do strips going this way. I wanted it to be able to like match really well so we can actually roll it down the counter and I don't have to do strips this way, which is nice. I can link this in the description box. So let's go install this thing.
decided to hold off on doing the back of this. I know <laughs> it's gonna bug me, but the reason is is that all this tile is eventually gonna come out and it doesn't make sense when this will probably be removed and we'll have to end up redoing this whole strip simply because of this little top lip. So instead of having to like put this on knowing we would have to take it off, we're just gonna hold off on doing it. But it still is looking so good and I can't wait to show you guys. Before I show you guys this big reveal, I did forget to mention that there is this whole kind of other half of the uppers in the kitchen that we are not touching. And that is because we will have a part two and potentially a part three kitchen reno down the line, not immediately, because we have big plans to actually remove this whole cabinet upper part just half of it, remove the tile and all that and do a really fun, affordable kitchen reno on the uppers. That's why we're not painting it or touching it for now because it's all gonna be removed, which I'm very excited about. Are you guys ready to see how this kitchen looked before? And here it is now. so happy with how the kitchen is coming along. Having this contact paper really brightened up the space. I can't wait to get to part two of our kitchen makeover. I'm so happy with how this trim updated our kitchen. It looks just more of the day. <laughs> that makes sense. It looks more modern, that's the word. Anyways, comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the kitchen and let me know what you thought of this trim update hack. I love how simple and easy it is. Grumpy, 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 grumpy. Are you being grumpy? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you again, Caraway Home, for sponsoring. I will have that link down in the description box. You can get 10% off site-wide. Go check them out. They really have such beautiful looking clean cookware and I love that for my family. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can subscribe for more of my everyday life. Follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.